Hi friends, welcome back. I hope you had a great weekend. Today is Monday and I am so excited to hop right back into Bible time with you this week. All right, now, do you remember what we learned about last week? We're going to keep going with that because there's a couple more places that those seeds landed. So are you ready to hear about them? But first, let's review what we already know. All right? So, who is our sower? Jesus. Jesus is the sower, right? And we are like the ground that the seeds are thrown on. And those seeds need to be sown within us. That's right. All right? Jesus tells us that his seed is God's word. And it is the truth about Jesus. The good news. The gospel. There are many different ways to share the good news. We can spread the news through a lot of creative ways. You can share with your friends. You can share toys. You can tell people about what you know about Jesus. And you can give some encouraging words like, Wow, you did a great job on that. That is a very encouraging word. Now, if you keep on doing that, guess what? You're going to find the good soil. All right? Now, the first seed. Do you remember where the first seed landed? It fell on the path. Now, what happens if it falls on the path? Let me just remind you. Ready? Are you ready? The bird comes and snatches it right away from you. Do we want that? No. Now in Matthew 13, 19, when anybody hears about God's word and doesn't really know it, that's when the evil one will come and snatch it away from you. Let's try not to fall on the path. What happened on the second one? Do you remember? This is the one that fell on the rock. Now, if you can see my table right now, I'm going to put those rocks and see what happens. So we're going to pour those rocks out right here. There's my rocks. Now, what happens if I put those seeds? Are you ready? Let's see. Boing, 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 boing. <gasps> Only a couple are still there. A lot of them didn't last. Now, in Matthew 13, 20 through 21, the one who received the seed that fell on those rocky places is the man who hears about Jesus, is so excited, but doesn't keep on listening. He just falls away and boings away because he's not listening. Now, the next one that we're going to hear about today. Oh, let me show you. This is the seed that fell on the weeds. The one who received the seed that fell among the thorns and the weeds is the one who hears the word. I hear you, Jesus. But worries of the life and the efficient deceitfulness of the wealth chokes it, making it unfruitful. In Matthew 13, 22. So I'm listening to the word. And I get caught in the thorns. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, I'm caught. Oh, oh, no, wait, what happened? Oh, I can't, I can't anymore, right? I'm worrying too much. Oh, no, what if they don't like me? Oh, no, don't look at me. If I worry too much, uh-oh, those seeds are going to fall on the thorns, and the thorns are going to, they're going to choke us, right? Do we want to be choked by those thorns? No way! Now remember, this is the paper you're going to color today. The seed that fell on the thorns. Now remember, don't get worried. Don't worry too much because we don't want to get caught up in the thorns, right? All right. Now, we are going to go ahead and do a new song today. Are you guys ready for a new song? Now, remember, 
God has got the whole world in his hands. And we're going to sing a little song about that. So follow along with me. Are you ready? He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got my brothers and my sisters in his hands. He's got my brothers and my sisters in his hands. He's got my brothers and my sisters in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. What else? He's got the little bitty babies in his hands. He's got the little baby babies. In his hands, he's got the little bitty babies. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. What else? <gasps> he's got my mommy and my daddy. In his hands, he's got my mommy and my daddy. In his hands, he's got my mommy and my daddy. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Isn't it great? that God has all of us in his hands? Imagine how big his hands must be to fit us all. That is amazing. Oh, I have one more little song for you. That's a little bit of a rhyme. Do you remember reading time last week with the caterpillar that I did? We did a little bit of a caterpillar song. It's a little different from the one we've been doing at Bible time. So I want you to get your caterpillar up and I want you to lay your hand flat because your hand is going to pretend it's a leaf for now. Are you ready? The fuzzy caterpillar crawled upon a leaf. It spun a little chrysalis and then it fell fast asleep. While he was sleeping, he dreamed that he could fly. And later when he woke up, he was a butterfly. Wow, butterflies are amazing. Now, in a couple of weeks, we might find some caterpillars to show you guys as well. That will be so much fun. Now to end our Bible time today, we're going to go back to our prayer time, all right? So we are going to accept prayer requests all through the week again. So if you have any prayer requests, go ahead and tell those mommies and daddies and they will send them to us. Me and Miss Marquez will get them and we will be praying for you. All right, fold your hands, bow your head, and let's pray for our day. Dear Lord, thank you for this Monday, Lord. And thank you to be back with my teacher and my friends on YouTube today. I am so excited, Lord, for this week. To have fun learning, help me have a great day, and to be having my listening ears on. All right, thank you, Lord, for everything. Amen. All right, friends, can't wait to see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.